We're about to start work on this Volkswagen Polo. The customers delivered it to me and the rear of the vehicle has been affected with vomit. Uh, the passenger was sick in this seat here, just behind the driver's seat. And so uh, we are, we're not cutting corners at all here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the seat in and we're going to clean and disinfect and sanitize this whole area. We're even going to sanitize underneath the seating because as you can see right here, there's an area where the vomit has has actually um, gone through. And let's look at the seat belt. The seat belt is also contaminated. So the seat belts will be completely extended and they will be treated and extracted. We're also going to uh, we're also going to clean, sanitise, and disinfect both rear door panels, footwells, and also the rear of the front seats. Uh, vomit never ends up in one place; it always splashes. And uh, unless you clean everything and disinfect everything, you're always going to have uh, that smell of vomit, which isn't very nice. So um, this is going to be about three hours work. We'll come back to this when we're done. Almost exactly three hours later, we return back to this polo. We have uh, cleaned, sanitized and disinfected the area under the seat, including obviously the, the removable base seats there. We've done all the uh, seat belts, the backs of the seats, the backs of the front seats. And I can tell you now, folks, there is absolutely no um, smell of vomit at all now. And it's just drying out. 